Uh, Larry has a question. Larry has it. Larry wants to take us down a path, perhaps a mini dive of the of tweaking the Apple TV experience, huh, John? Yes. All right. So, um, so here's what Larry has to say. Call us weird, but we actually like to watch the credits and we like to read them. Uh, on Apple TV and most of the apps, the up next bar appears and gives you like 10 second countdown to reach for your remote and flip around and try to prevent it from auto playing the next video. How do I just get rid of that altogether? I did some searching and found that there was a setting in accessibility, but that didn't work for me. So then I fast forwarded through a show and was quick on the draw and just skipped ahead a couple of up next video frames and at least got it to stop doing the countdown, but the bar does not go away. I just don't want it to be there. I'm very capable of figuring out what I want to play next. Also, isn't there a faster fast forward that scrubs through really quickly rather than just the standard two times? Uh, if I push down on the Apple TV remote, it will fast forward, but at VHS speeds. Um, I can't seem to do it on the Apple TV remote app on my phone. Is there a solution for this? But as for fast forward, Dave, I did found a trick. Uh, and it was in a, uh, and I think I've actually done this and just didn't realize it. Yep. Um, and I found a support article over at Apple. Is there a way to fast forward really fast? Uh, and the answer is yes. Okay. Um, um, so there are three modes uh, using the Apple remote. So um, there's the 10 second rewrite and fast forward when you, if you just click in one direction or the other. If you tap and hold, that's what he's experiencing. But then here's a way to go super fast is you pause playback and then drag your finger left and right over the touchpad area. And it scrubs at, as fast as you can scrub forward and back. Right. Yeah, if you get the minimize window, you can basically scroll up and then highlight it and then click on the remote and it'll make that window bigger again. Okay, so when it minimizes, you... Okay, I see what you're saying. You 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 sort of swipe up on the on the Apple mm -hmm. remote and and until it it highlights the little minimized thing and then you hit it and then it goes full screen. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh but we will continue helping Larry because he had a second uh sort of related question with the Apple TV. He said um for the most part things have been going well, but there was a time maybe 3 or 4 years ago when I noticed audio problems, but that seemed to go away. Suddenly and recently, I'm watching my Apple TV and the actor's lips are moving and then I hear what they are saying. It's out of sync. My receiver amplifier that I'm using is not super old, but it is a couple generations back, uh, but it still works great. So I don't want to replace it. This seems to only happen when I'm watching on Apple TV, not anything else. Any suggestions? And yeah, absolutely. Um, Apple TV will allow you to calibrate the audio uh, and video so that essentially what it will do is delay the video so that it appears at the moment that whatever your audio path is creates the audio, right? And, and that could be because you're doing wireless speakers, which adds some latency, or it just could be the way that your system works and, and it just has some latency built into it. It's very, very normal. And a lot of TVs and a lot of, uh, streaming boxes have the ability to do this. I'll put a link in the show notes to Apple's article about it. But the way you do it is you go on your Apple TV, you go to settings, audio and video calibration, and then you'll do a few steps to get things in sync and then things will be in sync and you'll be good to go.